Hey everyone, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Um, the weather's been pretty bad since the start of the new year, so I decided to start a new RC Foam Fighter scratch build. I decided I want to do a plane that's kind of been long overdue. Um, basically, I'm going to be doing the uh, plane that's on our logo. That was actually um, designed after a real plane, which was one of my first scratch builds. I still have this old plane. It's uh, kind of beat up, but this is the one I made in 2008. Um, this is what gave me the ambition and idea to start RC Foam Fighters way back in the beginning. I saved the original model from way back then because I always wanted to remake it in foam board or some other material. Um, it was originally built out of just plain insulation foam that's pretty soft and mushy, especially now that it's old. Um, but I kept it so I could take the measurements off it and hopefully someday build a new model out of it. The model is so old that I really don't have any good videos of it flying. I think I just have a couple videos that I'll show here kind of up in the corner basically that was taken with a just one of my old um, digital cameras didn't really take very good video Anyway, that's a look at the old plane that was the inspiration for our RC Foam Fighters logo. Here's a couple sketches of what I drew in CAD. Basically, the model's going to you know, resemble that old plane, but there are going to be some modifications um, from stuff I've learned over the years and just you know, how to make it a little bit better, a little stronger um, in areas that may be weak, you know, especially since it's going to be built out of foam board. So I am going to be making some adjustments to the uh, vertical stabilizers. Um, the fuselage is definitely going to be a little bit different because it's going to be made out of foam board and it has to be something that's going to be able to be folded into shape nice and easily. As you can see on the original plane, the vertical stabilizers were kind of almost mid-mounted. So to make it fly a little bit better, I'm going to scoot them back a little bit and maybe reshape them a little bit. So again, we're back to the CAD drawings. I'm going to be planning to upgrade the power system. Originally, I think I only had like a 2212-6 motor on there. Uh, maybe even a smaller motor when I originally built it. I think I was only running on a two cell lipo pack um, For the new plane that's gonna be made out of foam board I plan to put the monster jet on here and run it on a 4s lipo pack So this is the top view of the plane. It's going to be featuring a KFM 2 airfoil um, on the main wing Here's kind of the bottom view um, The original plane didn't really have any fuselage Coming out on the bottom. Let's see look up over here. So I just kind of had these little landing skids that kind of were simula simulated air ducts. So we're going to put the simulated air ducts on the plane, but I will have kind of a, a bottom portion of the fuselage on the bottom side of the wing, basically look like this. I'm um, doing this so we can get the motor nice and mid-mounted right where, you know, the line of the wing will be. That'll give it a, a better thrust line straight through the middle of the fuselage and the wing. Here's a quick CAD drawing I made of the side view. Um, basically, this is just going to be the first rendition of the plane uh, just so I can you know get it in the air um, If I see things I don't like or want to change after I build it in foam board We'll probably be doing some revisions um, Further on before we get to the final plans But anyway, that's kind of a quick look of what I've got um, I'm going to get on to building then we'll come back to the video um, Pretty much what I got it built All right guys, I have the foam board plane pretty much built I decided to go old school and do a you know a taping job with just the colored ceiling tape, you know, kind of like I did in the old days. Uh, I forgot how hard that was and what a pain in the ass it is. Uh, but anyway, I taped it up in the blue color, kind of like the original. I didn't have any yellow accents, so I just used some orange for the time being. Um, as you can see, the uh, vertical stabilizers are a little bit bigger and a little bit farther back. Um, it's all kind of a 3D shaped fuselage, and I made it where the hatch opens up right here. It's going to carry a four cell um, 2200 milliamp battery I'm going to be running a 60 amp ESC which is ready down in, inside there and I did decide to use the monster jet this is a 2100 kV version of the monster jet and I'm going to be running a 6 by 5.5 prop here's a quick view of the bottom of the plane um, like I said I do have the bottom fuselage portion kind of on the bottom side of the wing and I did put the simulated air ducts on there um, that's definitely needed for the foam board version to stiffen up this back end since we have such a large cutout for the prop. You know, otherwise this back end will be totally flimsy without that. So I got these simulated air ducts here 
and the vertical stabilizers help brace that to make it a little more stiffer. I didn't do any glide tests with the plane, so I'm hoping that my old CG marks from the old plane will be close to what I need to get it flying. So I'm just going to go with that. That's what I got marked on the plane and adjust from there. Hopefully it'll be good enough to get me in the air. This is a pretty good sized foam board plane. Um, the wingspan is 26 inches and the overall length is roughly right about 32 inches. So what do you guys think would be a good name for this plane? Um, basically I'm going to be calling it right now the uh, Foam Fighter 1 or FF1 and I was thinking maybe the name Genesis, you know, Foam Fighter 1 Genesis or something like that since it was, you know, pretty much the first RC Foam Fighter um, that I made. You know, this is the kind of the plane that gave me the idea to come up with RC Foam Fighters and start doing videos on YouTube. Um, if you guys got a good name suggestion, you know, go ahead and put it in the comments below. So overall, there's kind of the look of both the old version on the left and the new version made out of foam board on the right. Um, I think they're pretty similar. Um, I think, you know, before I finish the final design, I'm going to modify this fuselage a little bit. I kind of don't like how far back the cockpit ended up being, so I may scoot that forward just a tiny bit. So it'll look a bit, little bit more like the original. Um, but overall, I think it's, you know, a pretty good likeness. I may reshape the vertical stabilizers. Um, to be a little bit more like the uh, original plane over here. Uh, they kind of had a step in it, so I may do that on the final design. Um, we'll see how it flies on this test bed plane here. Okay, guys, uh, we'll probably start closing up the video now. Um, hopefully, we'll get some good weather soon, and I'll be able to get this out and test fly it. And this will be one of the planes I'm going to put into the free model category once it's uh, fully developed and I get everything worked out. Um, so look forward to that coming in the future.